Oh my god! It's happening! Ah! My little baby Q-Bug! Cubby! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Cubby evolved into Cubby Fly! Cubby Fly! Cubby Fly! Oh my god! My nickname actually fits his evolution name, so... <laughs> you, oh, okay. I used my last rare candy. Alright. I uh, just looked up what level Cubby evolves at, so... Oh, look at him! He's like a little... Uh, his, his snout is like a little, um... I don't know. Oh god, it's like a... Dog, or something. And then he has like a little cocoon! And he has little, a little body, and... Let's, let's see... Um... Oh god, hold on, let's- he has- his defense is 26, which is, uh, good. Special defense is 21, and then his speed and attack are kind of low. But, uh, look at him! Yeah! Hello, everybody! <laughs> okay, hi. So, well, episode 2! The first episode got a lot of positive feedback, so I am gonna continue this. Ooh. <laughs> All right, where we last left off, I got well. Everything was good, and guess what? Cubby evolved. Yeah! <laughs> I decided to play a little bit like by myself so I could level up my Pokemon, and Cubby evolved into like a Metapod that's really fat and has a pink face and like heart wings and everything. Look at it. It's like, and it has like Superman hair. It has like a little. Little tuft of hair at the top. It's beautiful. And it's a bug fairy type, too. So, you know. <laughs> so, alright. I'm gonna go to my PC just so that you guys can see my full Pokemon arsenal. Saying Pokemon arsenal just makes them sound like a bunch of evil missiles. But, um, alright. So, here is my, um, arsenal right now. So, we have a level 5 Dumb Sparse. Uh, level 4 Oten that I got via Wonder Trade because I did that. I'm not gonna Wonder Trade too much because I might end up getting like a legendary somehow and then it's, it's gonna be a bit cheap. But uh, yeah, Oten, Terry, the stupid thing, Grolo, the Grolo. Yeah, it's level 6. Um, I. Oh, wait, no, I don't think its name is actually Grolo. Hold on. Its name is Grozard. Yeah. And then Ekans, and this this is another thing I got via Wonder Trade, someone named it Cobra, which is Arbok backwards, which is just ironic. Digiman is my Tonami, which a helpful person in my last video pointed out that that Digimon's name was uh, Patamon. <laughs> its name was Patamon, so the, Digi the Digimon I was talking- okay, sorry, yeah. The Digimon I was talking about- Last episode was Patamon, so we have Lodo the Lotad, which I might evolve. He's at level 11, so he's a little strong. I right, hold on, let me see his moves. He, okay, so he has some okay moves considering he's only at level 11, so I might use him at some point. Um, how do I go out? Okay, yeah. All right, so that's that. Those are the ones in my box. I caught, so I caught a uh, this guy. I named him Smoke. And he is interesting. I got Trollo. This I don't hold on. <laughs> Fortog, yeah, Fortog. Trollo the Fortog. Smoke the S'more, which is just amazing. Then I got Bobomb the Barrel. Burby the Burby. Rap Goo the Rap Torch. And Cubby the Cubby. Cubby for Cubby. Yeah, so I'm training. And exit from the box, yes. I don't know what level most of these Pokemon evolve at, which is fine, whatever. But alright. I turned down the volume as well, so you can actually hear what I'm saying. What is this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm- Oh, Leader Daver in the Cave Excavation Master. Huh. Oh, shoot! Alright, yeah. I kind of forgot that I actually uh, beat the gym already. I beat the gym of, like, that old city that I was on, like, where I left off last episode. Yeah, I beat the gym there which i didn't really want to do but i just kind of ended up doing it so forgive me um so here here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back down here i'm gonna see if there are any special dudes that i can catch 
And who? Listen to the music. It's the music from uh, Route 1, I think. For oh, God. God dang it. Why did you get in my way? I was training. Huh. I actually got past that guy the first time. Like, I got out of his sight. So, that was good. Mankey. It's really hard to level up in this game. Like, level 10 Pokemon need, like, 500 experience to level up. Which is just not nice. Now, alright. Focus energy. Getting pumped. He's pumping his muscles. Lifting them weights. Oh, I didn't know that fairy was super effective against fighting. Alright. <laughs> fury swipes. I always read fury swipes as furry swipes. Which just kind of made things weird. But it's okay because when I was little, I didn't even know what furries were. So, look at that. Okay. Um. I feel like I should get Burby to level 10. I think most of my Pokemon evolve at, like, level 15 or, like, 14. Something like that. <laughs> Another interesting thing that I learned when uh, researching this game, oh, you know how there's a Dunsparce, and I caught one, and I named it Dumsparce? Yeah, apparently you can evolve Dunsparce in this game, which is amazing, but the thing is, it has to be at level like 40 to evolve, and it has to learn a certain move, and it's really weird, so, nah, I don't really want to go through that effort. I mean, I know Dunsparce is amazing and everything, but, you know, you just gotta, gotta pace ourselves with this. So, oh, oh god, Burby's dead. No, Burby! Hit one time. Alright. Uh, uh, we're going, no, no, I don't want to, you, send in, no, what are you doing? Trollo. Trollo the fourth dog. Fourth, fourth dog. Let's do this. He looks like a starter Pokemon, actually, which is kind of weird. Um, here's the part when ends theme from Pokemon Black comes Oh god! Ugh, just came back from a restaurant, and, um, food is in my stum- 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 stomach. And- ow! Oh god. Please poison him. Oh god, we have to switch out. Quick, uh, the rat goo, save me from this horrible world I live in. Mankey. Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, no. The, it, this game is weird with the controls. <laughs> um, also, I always had this weird feeling that Mankey was a ground type, even though he's a fighting type. But whatever. He has muddy feet, therefore he's a ground type. Alright, 78. Look at that. <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> this isn't a Pokemon game. <laughs> I did not expect that to be in this game. Um, this game is obviously for mature audiences only. <laughs> so, uh, viewer discretion is advised. Oh my god. That was the most unexpected thing to probably happen through this entire video. So, yeah. Alright, old rod. I got a- yeah, I got an old rod last w episode. I failed to catch any magic carps though, so... Oh, a bite. Landed a Pokemon. Alright, let's do this. Let's hope- Oh, it's okay, it's a low dad, whatever, cubby. Alright, that's some good XP. Let's see if Fairy Wind is good against low dad. Ooh! Alright. That did an okay amount of damage. Astonish! Oh! God, that's astonishing, but it only did two L's. I love the description for Astonish, and it's, it's just like... The user is essentially Tackle. Except that you scream at the person while tackling them, and that's like the only difference. At least, I mean, as, as, there might have been something else about it, I don't really remember. I just know that you scream while tackling them, and it's great. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it does more damage than tackle, because that would be kind of fun. But, imagine, imagine if like, Magikarp used tackle or astonish on you. <laughs> just like... Smashes into you going, ah! <laughs> Never gonna do that again. Bite! Come on, Magikarp! Oh, come on. This is like the only time I've ever actually, like, been actively hunting for a Magikarp. Alright. No, I didn't mean to use Tackle. God dang it. Alright. I'm going to... No! Ah! What should I do? I could switch in Bo-Bomb? I think, maybe... Hold on. I really wish I had the e the EXP share right now. I don't know if I talked about it last episode, 
but like I I've been recently trying to train my Pokemon up in uh, Omega Ruby, and to do that, I get a level 100 Arceus because that's good, and also Cubby's at level 11 now, which is nice. Wait. Hey! Ninja skills. Alright, I'm gonna run in this grass. <laughs> so, I have a level 100 Arceus, and I just turn on the XP share, EXP share, whatever. And I just like plow through the Elite Four with him, and then the experience goes to all my other Pokemon, and they evolve. So, now, yeah, now I have a Greninja, a Torterra, a, like, what's it called? Other, I have a Superior. I have like every starter in Omega Ruby, so. Yeah, that's good. But enough about in Ruby or Omega Rubber, as a uh, YouTube video would put it. <laughs> References. Um. Oh, poison is super effective against Bug Fairy. Who knew? But yeah. Um. Enough about Omega Ruby. What are we going to do this episode? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make up the fact that um. Oh god. I'm gonna make up the fact that I already fought a gym, like a gym last episode, and I'm gonna fight a gym this episode, because I feel bad that I didn't record it, me beating it. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, I got its health down low, I think if I use Struggle Bug. Ow. Okay. Ow, does one damage per shot, I think. Wait, what? Just two damage? What? This is really weird! Okay, great. Struggle bug, please don't die. Alright, good. I'm gonna capture this. Um, uh, alright, so, in case a lot of you, like, didn't understand the lore of last episode because I didn't record it, basically your mom, and I don't know if you're dead, but, like, your mom works in a chemical plant, or some, like, uranium digging plant. Get a Pokemon Uranium? But yeah, the plant basically like- Oh, hey, I got a Mankey! <laughs> Yay! Um, yeah, alright. So... Here. <laughs> gonna- No, I skipped its thing. Alright. Monkey. Wait. Monk. Woo! Alright. Yeah, basically your mom worked in a chemical plant, and uh, it like explodes or something, and your mom doesn't leave and she's like no I'm, I want to die so she dies with no god dang it <laughs> um all right hello sailor mark yeah so basically your mom died in a ca oh hey it's a spoonie what the heck I want that oh my god I want a spoonie so much now it's blue and purple all right enough off topic discussion so your mom dies at a chemical plant and her name is Lucille, and when she dies, your dad basically stops caring about you. She, I mean, he sends you away with your auntie, which is who, like, my character lives with now. And, yeah, that's the lore. So, oh yeah, also I have a, a rival named Theo, and the professor's name is Professor, like, Babu, or something. So, yeah, that's the lore, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed my... Retelling of Pokemon Uranium. Alright, I'm gonna beat up the Spony. Spon Spoon. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna name him Spoon when I catch one. I really hope he doesn't evolve into something super awesome because then I'm gonna feel bad. Here's another Pokemon story I have. A long time ago when I was playing Pokemon Black, I caught an Axew. And back then I really hated Axews. And so, like, I just thought they were dumb. So I named the Axew I caught, quote-unquote, Stupid. <laughs> I had an Axew named Stupid. And I evolved it later on. And guess what? Now I have a level 100 Haxorus named Stupid. You know what the, you know what the kicker is? <laughs> is that it's lowercase s. So... His name starts with the lowercase. That's how little respect I had for the Axew. And now he's a Haxorus named Stupid. I'm sure he gets made fun of all the time. Although, he probably does it considering he's in my box all day. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Quick question. Why is the green poison bubbles? Why are they green? Why aren't they purple? I don't understand. 
Oh, hey, fire is super effective. And the sound it makes sounds like sand pouring out of a shoe. So, ow. Alright. Wait, what? He's sending out another Pokemon? Um, alright, Lotad. Lotad, I can handle you. I'm gonna... Oh, uh, should I use Ember? Because Lotad's a grass and water type, and water's immune to fire. Grass is not... Oh, okay, I'm doing it. I mean, you know. Okay, it's normal. Um, water isn't immune... Oh, god. Great. This is gonna do great. Um, let's see if I have any revives. I have some berries. I have a super potion. Gonna use a super potion real quick, even though I probably could have just used a normal potion. But that doesn't matter! <laughs> Alright. Let's do leech life, because that's a bug type move. Oh yeah, super effective. Can I clutch this battle and beat the... Oh god. Mm, this is a hard man. Maybe if I use leech life, I'll be able to clutch it. Alright, next move. Okay, yeah, regain health, please. Yes, use bubble. Don't get a critical hit, I swear to god. Leech life. Yes! I have clutched this battle! This battle is mine! This Lotad is dead and my s'more is still alive. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> god dang it! Leech life! This is- Oh god, it does nothing. This is what I get for having hope in you, s'more. No- Oh, nope, never mind. S'more is dead. I was so close! Well, not really. But... Diego the Diego scurried to the Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. Boy, dude, give me some fresh water. Howdy, sport! Well, I need to give him an Australian voice. Howdy, sport! If you're here to face the- I'm not doing this. If you're here to face the gym leader, you better be prepared! Davern here uses a variety of Pokemon, which are found in caves. Be ready to face rock, ground, and poison types. If you've got a water fighting type, it's sure to come in handy for this battle here. Take this. Oh yeah, water straight from the stream. He's rooting for you. Me. Sorry. No. Can I sit? Ah, oh, this game isn't a true Pokemon game. I can't sit on the benches. Although, they only added that in X and Y, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm gonna go level up Pokemon. I don't- Okay, we're kind of running out of time here for the video. I don't want it to be over, like, 15 minutes at most. So, I think I've caught most Pokemon, except for- What? No! God dang it! Alright, you know what? We'll have one more Pokemon battle, and then I'm gonna end the video here. So- Sophie sent out Elton. Ah, it's not at level 21. Which means I'm probably still gonna lose. Okay, Picnic or Sophie is about to send out Filling. Filling, I think, is one of the Pokemon that the gym leader that I fought used. It's like a cat, a red and yellow cat. It's like a tiger, except it's tiny. And its name is Filling. There it is. It makes a cat meow. So, you know that this thing's legit. Final feeling battle. Fling. Fling is a move, right? <laughs> no, stop yawning! Come on! Why does, like, every Pokemon I fight... That was the biggest challenge against the gym leader. Because it kept using yawn. It just kept using yawn, and I couldn't. Like, my my babam, My babam was the only reason I won, because I kept making him, like, harden. Let's, oh, ha, your yawn failed. That's what you get. And I just killed a cat. Oh my god, you have more. Alright, great. Can I send out Rapgoo and get this over with? Can I kill you and your cat owl bird thing? Oten. Alright. Just gotta do Ember. Gotta burn its wings. Kind of, oh yeah, flame body. You know... And this game breaks a lot of Pokemon laws. For example, Rap Rap Torch, the starter Pokemon, it, it's a fire and ground type, even though all starter Pokemon are just single fire, water, or grass type. So that's that's dumb. And um, also, all like all starters have the same ability. Well, like not really, but in a way, like 
All grass type starters have overgrow, I think, which is the ability that powers up grass type moves when their uh, HP is low. All fire types have blaze, I think that's what it's called. Also, I defeat this little girl. My Pokemon are still lovely. No, they're not. They suck. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video now. Woo, well, that was awesome. Everything else sucks. <laughs> Who's Barol? I have no idea who Barol is, but whatever. Everything else sucks, I guess. Yo, please don't disturb me. I need to train. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. So this was an interesting episode. It might be a little short because I have other things to do. But you know, thank you for watching. Leave feedback if you want. You don't really have to, but you can if you want. And um, yeah. Say no. I forgot that I lost this battle. No.